Hello there! Today I thought I would bring you a little bit of a different video. Um, recently I'm sure you've all seen that the booktube um, watching tag has been going around and people have been talking about their booktube watching habits. And because one of the questions in that was how many subscribers do you have, a lot of people were sort of stating how many subscribers they had overall um, and breaking down how much of that was actually booktube and what I found perhaps most interesting about that tag was hearing about the videos that people watched that weren't booktube. I think it's quite interesting to kind of get to know what people are interested in outside of books sometimes. So. On the back of that I thought I would do a quick video telling you about some of the main YouTubers that I watch that aren't booktube. Um, like many people I am probably 99.9% .9 on the booktube bandwagon but there are some exceptions to the rule and just in case anyone is interested I thought I would talk to you about them today. So I split this into four main groups and I'm going to tell you about two from each. So we'll start off with vegan YouTubers. I don't speak about it here because I think it's such a volatile subject but I am predominantly vegan. I'm, I, I am what I like to call an at-home vegan. If I'm out and there is no vegan option I will have dairy um, but at home I do not buy dairy, I do not eat dairy, um, I'm you know avidly vegan at home. Um, so I watch quite a few vegan YouTubers but the ones that I watch probably most avidly at the moment. Starting off I have Madeline Olivia. Um, she is quite a new discovery for me but she is a UK vegan YouTuber which I think is quite rare. So far I've only been able to find American um, vegan YouTubers and she does really nice recipes like I think a lot of the vegan YouTubers tend to be more on the raw side and I don't see the point in that and I don't particularly think it's that healthy um, or they eat a lot of just fruit for example and I'm not being funny but I need my food if I had just a bowl of fruit for the day I would not be full <laughs> at all. So it kind of irritates me and makes me feel a little bit inferior when there are YouTubers who literally just eat fruit and look so incredibly healthy but I just, w w w how do they survive? Um, so it's nice to watch Madeline Olivia because she eats meals that are normal meals. She eats vegan burgers and pastas and she creates really nice food that I could eat. Um, she's actually got an ebook out which I intend to buy. I never normally buy ebooks from these people but I think her recipes are recipes that I could really get behind. She's just also just a nice person and you kind of get to see a bit of her life um, obviously. She does videos about being a freelance YouTuber as well as doing videos about what she eats in a day or recipe videos um, and yeah it's just kind of nice to watch her life and I find her videos quite calming. She's also got a minimalism series and she does stuff about going less waste and things like that so I would highly recommend checking her out. I've also got Lauren Toyota. Now Lauren Toyota is from Hot For Food which is a one of the bigger I would say vegan YouTube channels but I don't really watch Hot For Food in itself, strangely enough, because I found Hot For Food through Lauren Toyota's personal channel, on which she does things like What I Eat In A Days, um, and I think her What I Ate In A Days are probably my favourite What I Ate In A Days. Again, she's not got the healthiest diet. I mean, for the most part, she's better than a lot of people. She's not one of the fruit-heavy vegan YouTubers, but she doesn't always eat meals when she should, perhaps. Um, but then she's quite honest about that. You know, she, she skips meals if she's busy um, and sort of addresses that that is an issue and things like that. Then we're on to the next section. This is bunnies. Now, I spoke a little bit in my booktube watching video, actually, about the fact that I have two house rabbits. Um, they are my pride and joy, and I adore them. I've had rabbits. Um, these are my second rabbits. I've had rabbits since I was 19 um, and I just I just love rabbits they're just the best animals so I love watching rabbits on YouTube I could watch rabbits on YouTube all day if you have not done it before search for rabbits binkying because it's just the best thing and I love it when my buns do it and I love watching it on YouTube I could just cheer myself up with videos of that alone but there are some bunny youtubers that I follow now firstly I'm going to mention 101 rabbits I can't for the life of me remember what the girl on this channel is called I haven't been watching it for that long and I don't watch it that much but every now and again I enjoy a video from this channel so this is a girl who has a lot of rabbits she is like the god of bunny owners she has like her own medication lab and she treats her bunnies like one of them's got arthritis and she treats it with medication every day and she's just like this wonder woman of a bunny owner um anyway but she's really interesting she sometimes does like cage setup tours where she looks at the cage setup um she does videos about what she feeds her rabbits 
it's I just enjoy watching her every now and again and then I've also got Anna Brim now I haven't watched Anna Brim in far far too long um she's also a vegan actually um and her videos aren't specifically based around rabbits but she does have well last time I watched her this is probably going to be testament to how long ago that was um she does have three rabbits and two guinea pigs which she talks about quite a lot um predominantly Anna Brim is a stationary youtuber I don't know if you've ever delved into that subgenre I mean that is a whole fun game of its own um but I don't actually watch many stationary youtubers anymore so I won't mention them here apart from Anna Brim because she does also do like like what I ate in a day videos or just her general day video and she always features her rabbits in there but I need to get back into watching her videos the trouble is they're usually about half an hour long so they're quite a commitment but if you're willing to put the commitment in the bunnies are well worth it then I'll move on to illustration. So this is kind of a new subgenre for me, but I've been really enjoying it recently, especially somebody called Holly Exley, who I found from Jen's favourites video last month, actually. She mentioned that she's been really enjoying watching um, illustration vlogs. And I have been obsessed with Holly Exley since, to the point where I've been absolutely neglecting my booktube duties because I've just been wanting to watch Holly's videos. Again, she is also vegan um, and she's a plant-based illustrator, so she's trying to break into sort of vegan illustration which is really interesting she's just really lovely and calming and I just I just can't get enough of her at the minute she's got a really gentle voice her voice alone was enough to sell me on this she also lives up north and she goes for a lot of walks in the sort of moors and things like that um, and it, it's just stunning she's also got two dogs a pug and a tripod um, greyhound which again are just wonderful to watch yeah I would highly highly recommend her even if you're not inter interested in illustration because I'm not particularly um, but I just have been really enjoying watching her backlog of videos and then of course we have Fran from Fran Erd. I think most people on booktube are probably aware of Fran she seems to kind of merge into the booktube community even though she doesn't talk about books she is a wonderful illustrator um, who as I say I'm sure you all know already but she also does vlogs she's just got her own office um, so she's been doing in the office vlogs which are really lovely um, and yeah she's just a wonderful person to watch and again really relaxing and then we're on to the final section now this is going to be the general youtuber section because I don't know what else you would call these people they're, they're, they're general youtubers I don't know um, people who generally do YouTube so I watch not a huge amount of people who do this I watch probably about four um, general youtubers as I would call them but the two main ones are Lena from just kiss my frog I think a lot of people consider Lena as a booktuber I personally wouldn't I think she does the odd haul or the odd set of reviews probably like once or twice a year I wouldn't classify her as booktube though because for the most part her content is about all sorts of issues particularly about feminism and about politics um, polit Lena is quite politically minded this year she started a campaign which was to get the British Empire taught in British schools um, and she made a fantastic video about that which I would highly recommend checking out and the work that went into it is amazing she's also been single for a a long time and been quite open on her channel about being single but she's now moved in with a boyfriend um, and they're doing quite a few videos together about what it's like to be in a couple and I think that's really interesting as well and I really adore her boyfriend he's so sweet and I've also subscribed to him so you know I would recommend them both um then we've got Rosianna I can't for the life of me pronounce her surname without embarrassing myself so we're just going to say Rosianna and I'm going to hope that most of you know who I'm talking about because again this is somebody who kind of merges into the booktube community um she's worked for a long time as a PA for John Green um and she does talk about books um to be honest I kind of avoid her book videos because they tend to be very YA heavy and that's not my kind of thing but her other videos she makes I really really enjoy um she's very open about mental health and generally just self-care and things like that she does a series which is called Backburner I believe um and it, it's based on cooking because Generally it is sort of vegan or at least vegetarian cookbooks that she does this with um, and she basically films herself for a month going through these recipes but it's not about just the cooking because while she's cooking with some lovely shots of her cooking she's also talking about the ups and downs of her mental health especially I think the first one she did um, which was a back burner of Modern Cooks Year I believe by Anna Jones um, she 
went through quite a hard month mentally um, and it sort of was quite interesting to watch the ups and downs and some days she was so low um, but she still filmed and she was very honest about the fact that it was probably one of the worst months she had ever had um, but she was really proud of the fact that she created this thing within it. Um, I would just highly recommend her, I think her videos are wonderful, as I say her cinematography is wonderful, the only problem with Rosianna is that she herself is a self-classified perfectionist um, and as such she doesn't put up that many videos but when she does put them up they are well worth the time. So that's everyone I wanted to talk to you about today. I hope that you found some interest in this. I think sometimes it's interesting to delve into other areas of YouTube um, because obviously booktube we all talk about quite a niche subject so sometimes it's nice to just get a refreshing outlook. So I hope you check some of these guys out and enjoy them as much as I do. Please let me know down below what your favourite non booktube channels are and I will see you next time. Bye!